Hey, it's lavender rose and we're all frogged up, aren't we? I got a greenhouse. Uh, I want to have a good garden this year. I don't want to be able to start it out early enough. And uh, we just got it up today. I couldn't have done it by myself, though. I'm telling you. You need all the help you can get. Um, let's move inside. Decided to put a few rugs down here just to walk on. They're old rugs, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I've already got a frog in here. I guess he's looking for a warm place. Um, what I want to do to get this set up, sorry, is um, I want to find a place to hang my thermometer where it's not up real high. And I kind of want it over here in the shade. Um, so therefore, I want it done like this. But I have got to be able to check the temperature on this thing. This is going to have to be been out or something. Uh, to see what it's going to do. Right now it's not mm, real cold. So it should be alright. Uh, sorry about that. This one's just really not quite big enough. It's really so close, but not quite. Um, oh, there it fits perfectly. Well, there you go. That's where it has to go then, isn't it, for now. Uh, we warmed up pretty good. Um, I already got a little frog that came in. I guess he figures, hey, it looks like a nice house. Let's, let's move in. Anyway, it's pretty cool looking. Um, that's the big door, of course. And uh, it's not a real large one. But it's going to be good enough for me to do stuff in. And I think I will really, really enjoy it. I used to have a greenhouse a long time ago. And we'd made it out of old windows. And it lasted for years. And I so enjoyed it. Uh, so anyway... There it is. Isn't that nice? You've got little doors over here that you can open up and uh, to let the air in. And um, over here as well, you've got like six little uh, windows, I guess you'd call them. And uh, it's, it's just really nice. And of course, we started putting it up. And just Lavender Rose luck, <laughs> it starts raining, right? Of course. I got me some shelf units. Um, I'm really wanting to see how warm. The door is not exactly the way I want it, so I don't know how. You'll see it's going to let in a whole lot of air if it's like that. I don't know. I'm not sure really how you're supposed to have done that. The instructions were very vague on it, so um, I'm just not sure about that. But anyway, uh, Sit you down for a few minutes. Um, oh, there we go, I guess. We'll load these up. Because I did a lot of figuring trying to figure out make sure I get everything right. And um, so I don't know. And as always, you've always got a bunch of stuff you've got to cut with a knife or something, right? Um, I'm so excited about this because I didn't get to have a garden last year. And uh, it's a moving process. Did not get to have it. Okay, well, it's pretty simple. You can use the legs, put it on there, and blah, blah, blah. And it's four shells. But I'm not going to use it as four shells. I'm going to use it as two. Uh, I assume those are feet for the bottom one. Which is cool. There's more more leggies. So uh, two's going to go one place and two's going to go the other. Now, the only problem with that is that one set will not have legs. Oh, here's more legs. <laughs> I was going, man, he's sitting there. He'll be right here. Anyway, one of them will sit on the ground just like that. It won't have any legs. Um, like the one does. It'll just sit like, like that. I'm hoping this is going to work because I want something I can set my plants on. And I think this will be fine. I don't know. I'm really excited about it. Like I said, I did not get to... Oh, let's snap in. Okay. Well, this will be better. Um, then this will go on this. Hopefully. There we go. It's one of those fit, push, shove, whatever. And hopefully it fits really good. 
Okay, so there's one already built. Is that not nice? Look at that. All right, so there's one built. I think I'm going to have a lot more room than I thought I was going to have. Because uh, I did not think I was going to have enough room. I want uh, probably my big trees, maybe back here towards the back if I can. And they may have to sit in the middle, I'm not sure. But I've got like three big uh, fruit trees, y'all remember seeing them. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I can either use those, those feet or not use those feet, either way. And the nice part is that I have actually, I don't think I can have a two tier. I could have a three though, I think. Uh, three shelves, which might be kind of nice. Let's see if we can do that. Um, like I said, I am so excited about it. No, I got it upside down. <laughs> Leave it for Lavender Rose to do it upside down. There you go. Y'all know me. I'm always doing everything upside down, so. Um, <laughs> I knew about that. Uh, so excited about this. I really am. Uh, I can actually have more shelf units in here than I thought I was going to be able to. That's amazing. I mean, you don't want it right up to the top anyway because it would be too hot up there, I'm sure. Uh, three and that is really really nice um so that's what we're doing like i said i may leave the big trees for back here at the back and move the tables up here uh i could put that top one on there but it would just be too high um and then i'm gonna have one chef unit by itself so i'm not sure how this is gonna work out Anyway, that's what I'm doing. Uh, it's kind of cool. I'll take you a little video and a little bit of how it all gets done. Or whether it gets done. <laughs> I assume these are little caps for that. That's kind of cool. See, it has little feet for it that you can put on there. Um, like if you got a tall plant, you could actually sit on the ground if you wanted to. But, um, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, sorry I haven't been on in a while. It's been family time with, you know, all kinds of stuff going on. Um, Christmas, you're just so busy. And uh, and then afterwards, it's kind of lit down after everybody goes home. I assume this goes here. Oh, how awesome is that? See the little caps goes in? That's just really cool. I like that. I got two of these. And one can actually sit down there, closer to the ground for the taller plants, and and I can have these. I think we're going to move this one up right here, and then I will have my plants, the bigger trees over here in the back part. I did get. Let me show you. I did get a heat lamp. I don't know how well it's going to work, but I want to get it out, try it out, see how hot it's going to be. It's one of those that you clip on. Uh, and then I got a little heat lamp that goes in it, the bulb. Boy, these things are going fast. We had a really cold snap and everybody was buying these things up. So I hope you'll go with me or come along with me on my journey to uh, the greenhouse and see how it all works out. Uh, let's see, I still have legs left. <laughs> okay, legs but no table. I might be able to improvise and use some other kind of table. But see, that's going to work out really well. Then the big trees can go back here to the back. I didn't know what to do about the ground. And then I thought, well, it would stay warmer when, if it gets really, really cold with the plastic down. Then I put rugs to walk on so I wouldn't be putting holes in the plastic. So I think it's going to work pretty well. Anyway, uh, this is Lavender Rose. I'll give you an update on uh, how, whenever I get it fixed up and... Uh, and let you know how it's going. Now I could do two, just two of those, and it might be better to do that. I don't know. Just do two shelves, and because um, this might be too hot up here, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna have to play with that and find out. But I want to get the heaty thing out here. Uh, it's gonna be a few days before we have really cold weather. When it gets really cold again, I'm gonna have the heat up here, and we will see 
um, 